Okay, we're going to revolve this purple region around this green dashed line. This curve right here is the parabola, downward opening parabola, y equals 6x minus x squared. And we want to set up the integral using the uh, cylindrical shell method, which means that our typical shell will be parallel to the axis of revolution, which of course is this green dashed line. And that means our typical shells will occur from two to four horizontally. You can figure out what those uh, points are by substituting eight for y in here and solving that equation. Now, where did all this come from? Uh, cylindrical shell method is 2 pi times the definite integral from A to B, in our case 2 to 4, of the height of the shell times the average radius of the shell. The height of the shell is this distance right here. And for every x in the interval from 2 to 4, the, this distance from the x-axis all the way up to here is 6x minus x squared. Uh, I have to subtract this 8 to get this height because this is the 8 that we're subtracting. Another way to think about it is that for the length of a vertical segment, it's the y-coordinate at the top minus the y-coordinate at the bottom. That's what this is right here typical height. This will give you the height of a shell for any x value between 2 and 4. The average radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell. Okay, so if this is an x coordinate right here, that's really the distance from the y axis to that x coordinate. So we have to subtract this part to leave the average radius. And that's distance is always 2. So x minus 2 is the average radius. Okay, so multiply those two polynomials together. Take the antiderivative of each term. Evaluate from 2 to 4. Multiply the result by 2 pi. You will have your answer. I will include a link to a Desmos graph that has that answer. So there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.